Hello, I'm Deborah Kantinsky again. I'm from Critter Pattern Works. I specialize in machine applique animal designs. An easy way to get the animal designs to look more realistic is to stitch them with raw edge, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Here's my cat fused down to the background with the detail lines marked and a stabilizer on the back side of the applique fabric. We're doing straight stitch with a darning foot. This is the open-toed foot. And the way to hold your fingers is like this. But if I find that you can't see in the video, I will move my fingers out of the way. Now I am slowly going about an eighth to a sixteenth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. If you fall off the edge of the fabric, like I just did, you can go around again and it's okay. Once you get the hang of this, you can go fast. The feed dogs are still working and most people find this really amazing. Now, I'm just moving my hand back and forth, and the fabric follows me. So I'm drawing the fluffiness of the cat's tail. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You make it off as you go along. And those edges that aren't caught by the sewing machine stitches will fray a little bit, but hey, cats are fuzzy, so it's okay. Now you notice that I'm doing this with just one hand. You really don't need to have two hands holding the fabric. When you need to reposition your hands, needle down into the fabric. And I'm going backwards here and forwards, and I haven't changed any of the settings on the sewing machine. Because the feed dogs are working, the stitches are more or less the same size. And I flipped that around because I couldn't see where I was going up the front of his arm. This is around his ear. things on the top of his head, back and forth, little zigzags. Here's the cat sewn so far. You probably want to see what I've done. 
because it's a little confusing when you see it so close. All of those stitches that you saw where the sewing machine needle was jumping up and down, it looked like it was doing every other stitch, it has to do with how fast the camera is going. The next thing we need to do is focus on the eyes and the nose and the collar, which is going to be satin stitched. I'm stitching the side of his face. And his little chin. and the smile. Outlining around his nose. and around his eyes. The next step is to change to a open-toed foot and satin stitch the collar, the eyes, and the nose. 